YouTube. Mataze dana. Yeah. I'm Deasha. I'm K.I. Reacts. All right, so boom, last episode ended off and we about to go to the beach. It was action packed those last two episodes. Found out the person that we're gonna fight, which is like the master of the jab and clinch, throws you off your rhythm. I don't think we're gonna see that in this video. I think we're gonna see some beach action, which is probably filler, but we're gonna take it anyway. This show has been moving. I ain't even gonna, I'm not even gonna be upset. Epo, he's a beast. <laughs> yeah. And Epo's I feel nice. like if this is like a filler episode where he's like at the beach, he deserves to see some cheeks. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to say that. You already know what to do with those buttons. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of these videos. Check out the Patreon and social media and make sure you follow KI Reacts. This channel is pretty dope. Yep, here we go. <laughs> what would you do if you saw somebody at a red light doing that? When I was training in Muay Thai, bro, I would do that at a red light, honestly, while I was standing, so I don't know. Mm. I wouldn't think they're crazy, especially if they look like they're in hella shape like he does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't they make Epo carry all the bags? Poor Epo. Oh, God. That vein popped out crazy. Word. What the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell is that? What the hell is that? What <laughs> they should be able to get baddies though, because they're all pretty, they're in really good shape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the hell? てめえは。おつまんだ。おお。見よう様さんか。え。おお、マイガード。いいぞ。何を寝ぼけ。ま、ま、ま。僕より強い人がもっともっと強くなってるんだ。練習しなきゃ。ダメ。てよ。もっと
But I'm glad that he has a weakness and he's not just like, you know, just good. Like he has some things he needs to work on. Your toes are weak. <laughs> if his toes are weak, the mice are super weak. Hey, I'm right there with you. <laughs> well, this is gonna be a hell of training to get him to that. Mm. Tennis ball. Gotta get that footwork in, man. Oh, this is actually a cool idea. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Might as well start running on that beach, bro. Uh, it's probably funky as hell in that room, bro. All the sweat. Mm -hmm. I hope they're taking showers. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, were they there for a week, it looks like? I love how the show doesn't, like, they don't have, like, each episode be, like, a day or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, they don't drag it out. They show the important parts and all that. Mm-hmm. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, bro. What is he? Oh. Awesome. ちに10年ぶりのチャンピオンベルトを持って。あ、we're <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Oh, uh, yep. Was it you that told me that the guy who made this actually has his own gym? I believe so, yeah. <laughs> Look at Epo, though. He's moving a little quicker. Mm -hmm. Hey. Nice juice He's quick, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Nah, he's cheating. I think that dude is spying on his training and letting the other dude know what he's doing. Wait, is that Kobashi? I think so. It kind of looks like him, doesn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, just put the hat back on. <laughs> で、<笑><笑> 
これはその努力の一つってわけさ幕内君僕には派手なパンチ力も目を見張るテクもないけどそれでもボクシングってのは何があるかわからないよ Damn, this might be a good match, bro. This dude seems hella confident. But going to the gym and spying on what they're working on against you, you know, in my opinion, kind of is, in a way, I guess. Mm. But I don't know. I think if you're going to fight somebody, you got to go in, you know. What? <laughs> 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 おばし、こっち来い。おばし、マジで叩くなよ。心配ねって。あいつのパンチ力じゃ。ある程度までは期待というものにできるが、その上に行けるのは天文を与えられたものだけよ。残念ながらお前にはそれがないな。マックスイ
Yeah, he definitely about to get off. He about to clinch you. Clinch. Oh my god. I told you he's gonna wear him out. Mm -hmm. I think he just needs to get one good back step. Soon as he's about one to go grab punch. him, grab him for the clinch, just step back and just bop. Oof. Oof. Bop his ass. Yeah. There goes the mouthpiece in the crowd. Somebody's holding Dang, your face bro. in their lap. Mm -mm. I don't know, man. Epo, I don't know. Epo might take this L, bro. Honestly. It, it looks like they were setting us up for it. And I'm not saying that, like, uh, like you said, if he lands a one good hit on this guy, because this guy obviously was saying, you know, that, that he hits really hard, and if he gets hit, he's going to be more than likely out. Mm. If Epo can just get one uppercut, just one really good, solid punch to the face, it'll be over. But... Like I said, I think he's going for like the, you know, letting his opponent wear themselves out, throw all these haymakers and all these really hard punches, mm. and then go in for the kill. That's what, honestly, that's more of like a defensive kind of fighter is what he's being, because that's what Mayweather does. That's why he's like what fifty one and zero or fifty and zero, like something like that. He literally, he yeah, he literally let all of his opponents, even like the hard hitters like Canelo back in the day when they fought, he just let them punch and throw their punches and everything wear themselves out and then once he saw that they were getting tired like halfway through the rounds he just went in on them that's mm -hmm. a very smart way to fight mm -hmm. but i just don't like the clinching though uh that's he's doing too much of that in this fight yeah the clinching like, the clinching is od it's not a wrestling match yeah so. it's not muay thai because in muay thai when you clinch someone you know you can throw elbows to the mm -hmm. face and knees like he's not doing it this is just boxing bro mm -hmm. quit quit with the clinches but that's a part of his fighting, a part of his boxing style to throw Epo off his rhythm, which just, it's obviously working. It's which working. Sucks, it's but. working like a charm, too. But I mean, Jeez. it is what it is. We're going to find out next week what ended up, what's going to end up happening because fuck. <laughs> this match is ridiculous. And Epo really sweating like episode. crazy. So, you know, everybody. I wonder why. For him. Yeah, I wonder if. Like, I was kind of wondering at first, like, because I kind of noticed that because, like, whenever the dude drenched, like, squee he squeezed the towel and, like, all the water sweat came out of it. I was like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Epo's getting tired. He's sweating a lot because mm -hmm. he was never really like that the last few fights he had before this one. Like, he was normally just good old KO and then mm -hmm. eventually and then it's over. Even 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 with the other dude, um, the American dude, mm -hmm. that one black dude, even yeah. with him. I mean, he put up a fight, but he didn't get tired like this, so. Yeah. Well, we will see. Let us know in the yep. comments what you guys think. Don't spoil. And if you like yes, this video. Yes, please don't spoil. Yeah. Don't spoil. If you like this video, forget don't, to like. Please. Subscribe. <laughs> hit the bells. So you miss out any of these videos. Check out Patreon and social media. And we will see you next week.